Scott Nixon is with Quantum Sale Design Group. He's been with them a long time. In fact, how many years have you now been a pro with Quantum, Scott? F 15 years. And he was just promoted. Now you get to tell Ed Reynolds what to do. Is that correct? That's not correct. He, <laughs> he's a big boss. What? Tell us about the new position and exactly what it entails. I mean, it's really cool. It sounds like you're going to be do, doing some really neat things. Yeah, it's really sure. Um, it's going to be exciting. I'm going to be the uh, Global Offshore One Design Director. Okay. Um, and I'm going to be working with all our Grand Prix classes worldwide. Just uh, doing a little bit of the same role I've been doing. But uh, we're going to add a little more structure. You know, the company's growing fast uh, worldwide. Um, we've really had a great emphasis on one designs. Um, personally, I think it's the way the sport's going. The owner-driver rule's going really well. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of guys are getting into sailing. Um, they're getting into smaller boats and mid-sized boats. You don't see as many maxis or big boats like we did years ago down here in Key West. They're all sailing. Uh, more one design boats, J70, CNC 30s, Meldis 24s, right? Um, all that. So it's it's very exciting. I'm going to be adding some structure to that, working with our design team and uh, on the water testing team to make sure we have good designs, making sure we have updated tuning guides for our customers, and making sure we can deliver the best product um, to help our customers get on the podium. That's fun because now you'll be able to get on a lot of different boats. Yeah, this is going to be pretty neat for you because you're really going to get to get a feel like you mentioned, CNC 30. Jay said there's so many one designs out there, and I imagine you're going to try to get on all of them and figure out what is the best sail shape that, that makes these boats go fast. Yeah, exactly. We've been doing that um, for a long time, but now as our group's gotten larger, we have a lot of designers. We have a lot of awesome reps on the water sailing and testing, so it's a, a lot of gathering their feedback and making sure we get the feedback from the professional sailors out there on the water testing and the customers to make sure we're doing the right thing to make them happy to make sure the product goes forward. Now here in Key West this year, you're on a, a CNC 30. Yep. Talk a little bit about the sailing you're seeing in that class. It's been pretty competitive. I've talked to Dan Cherish. I've talked to a, a Jeff Ewanson yep. and some other guys that are yep. sailing in the class. Been pretty competitive, has it not? No, it's a great point. The CNC 30 class is super exciting. Obviously, it's a brand new class. They've done a little bit of class racing uh, this summer. The boat just came out. Uh, earlier in the year, and this is the first really official one design mm -hmm. regatta where we're following one design rules. There's only two professionals per boat. Um, they have sail limitations. Um, the owners are having a blast. The, the racing is very close. The boats are very even in speed, and that makes for a really great one design class. Here in Key West, yesterday we ended up uh, sixth to last race and were easily in first or second and did two bad ducks and dropped down to sixth place, so the racing is super close and a lot of fun. Well, that's what Dan Cherish was saying that, I mean, that's a well sailed boat. But he said he got caught on the wrong end of a shift, and he said once you get behind, it's hard to fight back because these boats are so good, you, you, it's not easy to make up ground. Yeah, exactly true. It's really great one design racing. The boats are very even. Um, I would say maybe the quantum boats are a little bit better because they're one, two, three right now, but other than that, yeah, it's very, right? very close. <laughs> All right, Scott. Hey, congratulations on the promotion. We'll know you do a, you, we know you will do a great job. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks, Wax.